people, for me, my thing is I'm a, I'm I'm worthy. Yeah. Like me and Bud had the same tone, but I'm I'm very worthy. I know a lot of words like. Like you went to body shop, three shots like a bartender, three shots like a free throw. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, I, like I said, um, just you and Bun's relationship, man, um, like you guys are, you know what I mean? Every time I hear y'all together, like on that free shots, like that that song, you went to another level when it came down to the lyricism in that for me. Yeah. I can see around corners. I can dodge raindrops. Take the parts off your body. Like you right. took it, you the, the one we just talked about, you slowed it down a little right. bit. But the cadence on this this one back here, I was like, damn, this nigga bro, just going you got in. To understand something, bro. I'm not trying to be braggadocious, but man, look at what's look at the history of the, like the UGK. But bro, listen. All I can advise you to do with Bun or any guy that come from down there is just bring your A game. <laughs> Right. I know you heard about a player, man. Cause in the streets I'm a legend. See, I came up from the black top, shoot shots back in eight. That's all you can do because like for me, my thing is I'm a I'm I'm worthy. Yeah. Like me and Bun had the same tone, but I'm I'm very worthy. I know a lot of words like Like you went to body shop. Free shots like a bartender. Free shots like a free throw. So and not to say that Bun don't he have his own way and it's just you got to be at a certain space in your mind and know who you're dealing with. I mean, you you heard Bun on that murder? Well, it's Bun B, bitch, and I'm the king of moving chickens, got them finger licking, sticking niggas that be tricking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah hell everybody yeah. heard that, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, so there you go. There you go, and freeze, right there. Just freeze, right there. If you ain't doing that, a better, like with, you know, yeah, come on, man. That was hard. He not relevant all of this time of day. Shout out to the, for the rodeo, I just, you know. How was that down there? Bro, uh, it, I, it, it had to be sold out. It had to be sold out. It was too much people. <laughs> Jeez, That's why I wasn't there, to be honest with you. It's too much people. I, it's, it's a lot. It's you a lot. Know, <laughs> you know, I love Bum Bum and Bum Man shit. <laughs> like, it's a lot, ain't it? Man. And this weekend going to be know, even worse. I know it's sold out. It ain't going to doubt it so like. I got my hat, you know, just on, you know, <laughs> hey, man. You been down there that got for as long as you could, didn't you? Man, yeah, and you know, I actually learned some things. Like, they had the uh, thing where it was roping. Like, I yeah, seen that yeah. stuff and it was roping. I was like, damn, man, it, you know, didn't know that it was such a big crowd for, you know, rodeo situations like that. So, oh, yes. Yeah, like, rodeo is a big thing in Texas, period. Yeah. But, um... I have friends on Instagram who live all the way in Atlanta and all over the world, and they in Houston this weekend. Like a dog. And I'm like, dang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a dog, man. Man, like, yeah. I mean, this is like, come on, it's Houston. Mm. Yeah. It's Dallas. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's money over here. Come on now. It's not like, you know, Mississippi. It's, it's you know, people. not to say that we don't have, but we don't have much, but we, we working on with what we have and we got it good to cover. Because, I mean, if you look at like if, if the South was a plate of food, like a lot of these, they be the meat on the plate, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of them origin, they they nuclei, they DNA come from here. So it's a beautiful thing, man, to just live in this season and um, be able to be breathing and see people waking up yeah. more than ever. You know what I'm saying? You know, I say you have eyes that are not blind, but you refuse to see. A lot of people are beginning to see, see. and I noticed that. You know do you saying? do you? If I get in the truck with 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 Smoke D and we riding around. What am I gonna hear on your playlist? What 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 music will you I? You gonna hear? hear some beats? Just beats. You gonna hear some beats? That's what you're gonna hear because to step into your true self, you have to be in a place of solitude where no outside stimuli can influ influence the soul of who you are. Wow! In order to do that, you have to be alone with the music. Yeah. I don't want to come to no music, and I just. Been listening to you know um, reggae. No disrespect, I'm listening to reggae, <laughs> but I'm going. That's what uh, music is. Everything else, uh, yeah. no disrespect. I'm listening to reggae, but then I'm going to an opera concert to put. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's a it's a it's a hearing type of thing. You know what I mean? And so, I guess you will be listening to some beats, 
I would be trying to figure out something for us to do because I'm a human doing. I wouldn't just cruise with you and listen to no beats, brother. I'd be cruising with you, and we'll be trying to figure Pick out something. I'll be you. talking to you. Yeah, we're going to be putting some plays together. Some business. And we'll be listening to the beats, and you'll be liking the beats. And I'd probably say, we catch a lyric at you, you know, and okay, that's us working together in yeah. real time. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.